Friends of Hadley Public Library Scholarship, and Luna wanted to say some words because she's got quite a history with you, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, I've known Pema for 12, about 12 years when I first started working at the Goodwin Memorial Library across the street. And I believe that um, while most kids were lured to YouTube videos, and the internet, Pema single-handedly boosted the circulation <laughs> numbers in the Goodman Library by taking out armfuls of books oh every single week. And um, she quickly went through all the books upstairs and then started by age 10, was already going down to the <laughs> teen room downstairs to check out young adult books. And um, Pema always had a wonderful smile, even when she was a shy little girl. Um, and when she did find her voice, it was always to ask for princess books for Palver, her sister. Um, Pema never needed my help finding anything because she basically read everything we had. And she could come in the library f um, even when she only had like five minutes because her dad was like rushing her to swim, <laughs> her to the swim team, mm -hmm. she ha could grab a huge stack of books and stagger out the door in minutes. Um, and also, Pema and her family always came to all of our summer reading program activities, the teddy bear sleepovers, the tie-dyes, the cornhole tournaments, everything we did, they were always there. And I just love my loyal library families and Pema's family was at everything. And if they weren't at something, I, could, I knew that they were on vacation somewhere because <laughs> they would have been there. And that was really wonderful. And um, I just remember when you were little, when you were really little, you would always be behind your dad, kind of hiding. And I, today I watched the valedic, vic, valedictorian speech at Hopkins, and I was so proud to see that you, were, you had grown into such you know, a beautiful, strong, articulate, and caring person. It was just, it just was amazing to watch that. I was so proud of you. And... Um, I'm very happy that the friends were smart enough to choose <laughs> you for their scholarship recipient, recipient. I don't think, we honestly, I don't believe we could have found a more deserving, more enthusiastic reader for this award. And so I just want to say that I'm super happy for you and super <laughs> proud of you, super glad to know you. And I think all of us, should watch out because we should see what Pema does in the world. It's going to be pretty cool and it's going to be fun to see. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. You. And also, hats off to your dad and mom yes. who have always been <laughs> your biggest supporters and have always taken you to the library. Yes. Oh, so nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Luna. That is very nice. I appreciate that. Um, you certainly know Pema much more than we do. We've only had an inkling of what you can do. We really appreciated you submitting your application, and we were very, very impressed by it, by your essay, which is now on the display, which you can let us know if you are OK with that. <laughs> but we would like to share it, if you don't mind. And so we would like to present you with the um, scholarship award of a thousand dollars toward so your school and your education for the upcoming year mm -hmm. and we wish you luck you're probably not going to need it because yeah. you're a very confident very well prepared young woman so good luck and congratulations again thank you so much thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.